Hi, welcome to Cosmic Tides. Um, we're going to check out how the cosmic currents are pulling us today for Aries for the beginning of December to mid-December. My protectors, can I please get some cards for Aries for... Ooh, there we go, got one already. Thank you. get um, a card for Aries for beginning of December to mid-December. Beginning December to mid-December. Okay. Okay. What else does Aries got going on for the beginning to mid December? Thank you. What do we got going on for Aries? Beginning to mid December. Beautiful cards we can get for the beautiful Aries for beginning to mid of December. Okay. Let me get one more for Aries for month of December beginning to mid, please. Then we're going to ask for some clarifiers before I start anything. Let me get a clarifier for the King of Air, please. Let me please get a clarifier card for this King of Air. My protectors, please. God, you guys like to see me shuffling. card for the hermit please Ooh. 
Let me get a clarifier card for the hermit, please. Let me get a clarifier card for the chariot, please. Thank you. Make a clarifier card for the lovers, please. Okay, thank you. Make a clarifier card for the Knight of Water, please. Just in case you guys are curious, I use the Angel Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. Really good deck. Probably like my favorite. Okay, thank you. And let me get a clarifier card for the Page of Earth, please. Okay. Okay, and let me get a clarifier card for justice, please. Shall end in on justice, so we really need a clarifier for that one. Please get a clarifier card for justice. And here on my face, sorry, it's bothering me. All right. <laughs> nah, I need another one, please. <laughs> Can I please get another clarifier card for justice?
All right, hold on. Okay, so then can I get one more card for the spread? Um, for the outcome of whatever situation this is, please. I need one card for the outcome. Because I can't leave y'all hanging like this. I need to get this outcome for Aries for beginning to mid December. What is the outcome of this situation that they're looking at? Not leave them on that. They need a positive outlook and a good card to end on. Not saying this isn't good, but um, I need I need more answers <laughs> before I start. <laughs> I don't want to scare any of you watching. All right. Yeah, something like that. And can I get a clarifier for this nine of air? Uh, nine of fire, please. Can I get a clarifier for this nine fire, please? <gasps> Can I get one more card to clarify this nine fire, please? That's what came out, okay? All right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's good. And um, unity is under is the underlying energy of the whole spread. So um, traditional viewpoints, methods, spiritual organization, seeking out like-minded friends uh, or mentors. Right. So let's get started. Spread's really interesting, actually. So first we have the King of Air, um, and it's clarified the, by the pe uh, can't even speak. Sorry, we got the King of Air clarified by the Page of Fire. So the King of Air is brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic, um, speaking your mind, speak your mind with confidence, uh, seek out professional advice, balance out mental and emotional considerations. Um, clarified by Page of Fire, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting endeavor. Use your originality and geniality. So it's kind of interesting. So yeah, I see a person. Um, it's either you got an idea or for some of you, I feel like... Um, I feel like for some of you, you're very emotional. You're very emotional, and I feel like your friends are not um, really the best support system. Or the friends, the people that you chose as your friends are really not the best support system um, for your emotions and feelings. And like, I see this person kind of walking away from his friends. Because he's upset. I, like, I see him really upset. And just going his own way. Because his friends are kind of like... I don't know. Like, basically... It's like being called like a little bitch for your emotions. That's what I get. And, like, that's not cool ever. Because everyone's emotions... Sorry about my dogs. Everyone's emotions are valid. Let me close my door. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, I see your friends, um, the people that you chose as your friends are really not supportive of how you're feeling in the moment. A lot of you could be going through depression, and they just don't understand, so you're really upset, and you're just kind of going your own way, or you're just closing yourself off, but we have good news that you're really not paying attention to um you do have a lot of good things going on around you that's why i feel like this is mostly like it's not like bad things are happening to you bad things are not happening to you um it's really like you feel like they are you feel like your world's almost crashing around you but you're really not opening your eyes to um everything that's going on around you and most of all 
um, most of all, you're not paying attention to your own originality and um, what you do have to offer, whether this be a job. Um, not I'm not talking about these friends when I say friendships, but um, there could be maybe some people that... Ah, man, I get the feeling like whoever... This is definitely for a specific person. It's almost like you feel like your friends are too cool or something. So... I don't even know how to explain this. It's like you feel like you hang out with really cool people, so you like to put on this mask of like, oh, I don't got no feelings, I'm I'm hard type of thing. But really, you're really emotional inside, and they just don't let you um, deal with it the right way. So it's like I kind of see you going towards some friends that... It's like friends you don't like to bring to hang out with those cool friends. They're really not cool. They're assholes. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because anyone who makes you feel bad about your emotions is not someone that you want to be around because all emotions are valid, right? So, I see you kind of hanging out with some other friends that you kind of pushed under the rug to hang out with those friends. And then for some, for some, I think um, you're unhappy with a job, maybe. Unhappy financially. And you don't really have anyone to... Um, you feel like you can't speak your mind on your ideas from um, like whoever's surrounding you. You feel like it's not safe to speak your ideas. Um, but it is. It's totally safe to speak your ideas. Um, I feel like uh, you might feel like your family might not support you. But I think they totally will. Because um, you have so much originality. And you're ingenious with everything um, that you can put together. Um, but basically, for some, uh, walking away from those bad friends, right? The person who's walking away from the bad friends, um, you're going to spend time alone as well. Um, not really alone, because I see a few, a few little... Like I said, the people that you were sweeping under the rug, they're going to help you. Um, kind of teach you about yourself and let you feel your emotions. And it's going to be able to heal whatever you've kind of been pushing under the rug I get like the feeling of this person like I don't want to deal with it I don't want to deal with it and now it's like you kind of have to deal with it because you're like damn why am I feeling this way it's because you've been not dealing with your emotions the right way you've just been letting it build up and then for some um for some yeah so it's like uh you want to go in this new direction with this new job or something you're not sure if um you're going to be supported by your family, um, so you're really going to be spending a lot of time alone thinking thinking it over, thinking it over. You're almost going to um, really try to calculate it, see if this is like a good idea for you. Um, and this is clarified by the page of water, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, height and psychic abilities. Also, um, with the Queen of Fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So, yeah, I feel like for the person... Yeah, for the, yeah, for the person who has those shitty friends um, and you're walking away from them, uh, you're going to hang out with those friends that you've been sweeping under the rug. You're also going to... Um, yeah, so... I take that as a relationship begins a new phase, so you're going to get really close with these people. For some, maybe you walked away and you don't have any other friends that you pushed under the rug. Maybe you have no friends at all now. That's how you feel like. But um, somebody is going to pop up in your life. You'll know. You'll feel it. And um, when that comes, like take your chance. Um, try to really build the, a real good friendship foundation with this person. Because... Um, they're going to be are sensitive and artistic and friendly. They're going to be a really nice person to hang around. And that's going to make you feel confident and warm inside. And um, it's going to make you feel really good. And then for another person um, who's going to go maybe to a different job. You're really thinking about this. And um, yeah, so it's like you almost have certain people is going to have... It's almost going to be like, because Neptune is uh, going 
forward right now. It's going direct. So a lot of people who have gifts, their psychic abilities is going to be heightened. So for some of you who do have that gift, it's almost going to be like, you're almost going to be able to almost see, like, see, far see. Like, you know what I mean? You're almost going to be able to see this, this is going to work out if you just go for it. And I think that's really amazing, actually. Because, um... Yeah, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Get rid of that self-doubt because it will work if you insert your um, independence and creativity, right? Um, so the job was going to just just go for it. Um, and the person who had those, um, those bad friends and stuff um, hanging out with these um, people that you put under the rock yeah I want to go back to this it's like another um phase in your friendship you guys are getting really stronger you almost feel bad too like wow um I should have I should have um the, by the time I was taking getting close to those bad for me friends I really should have gotten to know the good for me friends the people who really care for me um Because they really do care for you. And then we have, yeah, then we have the chariot. An important achievement. Self-discipline and willpower. Public recognition. And that's clarified by the five of fire. Competing goals. Bothersome details. Conflicts with others. So you do have the chariot. I think um, for some... I think for some, um, like the person who had the bad friends... Um, you're starting to let, by these new friends, or, I'm just gonna call them new friends, but really they're the ones you swept under the rug. Um, and then for some of you, it's, an, it is a new person, like a new friend, cause, um, you kinda just left all your friends, or close to it, you know what I mean? So, um, that, w that took a lot of discipline and willpower, um, you even got public recognition, so those friends actually like, wow, like, he don't wanna be our friend no more, he don't wanna fuck with us um type of vibe that's what i get from it um and you're just like yeah <laughs> you're just like yeah here i am living the best i can letting myself feel all there is to feel and not feeling bad for it but for it um i guess that's where that unity card comes in because it's almost like um you're letting yourself feel as one feel all of yourself all of your emotions you know what i mean instead of just pushing them under the rug just to fit in with um shitty people and then um the five of fire so competing goals bother some details so it may bother you that you had to leave those friends obviously but it was it was um a conflict with others you know it was um not for your best well-being to be there it was a conflict of interest for your well-being to stick around with those people right yeah um, because then we also have the lovers, but I'm gonna get into that because I need to talk about the other people. <laughs> so we got the person, um, that left their shitty friends, but didn't really have any friends to go to. Somebody comes into their life, um, that type person. So that person, um, yeah, you have the chariot. So it's like this new friendship is divinely guided because there's this angel that's kind of like watching you from a distance kind of like kind of like oh this is what she looking like <laughs> um i don't know if you guys can can see it that's what it looks like to me and um yeah that friendship was divinely guided divinely guided um there may be Hmm. See, even though it's divinely guided, oh, you know what it is? I, I see somebody, I see your old friends jealous that you're hanging out with this person. That's what I see. They're jealous you're hanging out with this person. It's like, oh, you left us for for them? <laughs> okay. But they're really just mad. They're, they're salty. So I wouldn't even worry about that because you have the lovers. Um, and then I want to say for the person who has the, who's thinking about going for the job, right? 
So you're thinking about going to a new job. You don't feel like you have anyone to support you. Um, but you're going to think about it and you are going to do it because you have the chariot. So it's going to work out for you. It just might be like you might be competing with some people to go get the job. If you are, I just suggest going your hardest. Um, and if it's not competing with someone for the job, it's something about the contract, I feel like, that bothers you, or it's maybe, for some, if you're doing self-employment, it's not knowing if you'll be able to sustain yourself um, in that waiting period of cash flow. But have faith, because y'all got the lovers, y'all got the lovers. Um, yeah, you guys got the lovers, and it's clarified by the two of earth. This is beautiful. So, um, yeah, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Um, so for all three of those scenarios, the person with... <laughs> the person who's going chill with the people they swept under the rug. That's going to work out. Um, it's going to work out for you because you guys get really close. And it makes you feel really good. Um, and at the same time... At the same time... I get the feeling you feel almost like there's loose ends that you need to tie up with... Um, those shitty friends. You you feel like there's too much going on at once. You need to make a decision. But like all that's in your head. Because you need to consider a more playful approach. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be straightforward. You don't have to cut them off. Those friends. If anything. You can wake them up. And tell them straight up. Like hey. You know my emotions are valid. Just because I feel this way. It doesn't make me less of a person. Um. Actually, I feel bad for you guys for not being able to feel those emotions, not letting yourself feel those emotions. Y'all are going to be repressed. And just in case you guys didn't know, um, if you repress your emotions, you can get physically sick. So, remember that. Um, but yes, for, for that person... Um, yeah, I, won't, I don't say you guys need to... like. You guys do not need war, okay? <laughs> you guys can talk it out like an adult, like adults and maybe even fix the problem. Then you guys can all be friends. Like, who knows? Who knows? But at the same time, the person um, who left all those friends and has the one friend, um, y'all are getting really close. And it's almost like y'all spend so much time together because it's like your only friend right now. So as y'all are spending so much time together or talking back and forth, I mean, you're not, you're not paying attention to everything that's going on around you or you're trying to do everything, but you're not putting your attention to it because you want to focus on your new friend, new friendship. You probably might even like this person or start to like this person. Um... And then for the job, person with the job. So yeah, you, you find a real love for this job. It's just really busy. There's a lot to do. Maybe um, maybe you feel like you bit off more than you can chew, but take a more playful, uh, more playful approach. So like, um, maybe schedule um, a day. When you get off early at the spa, um, I don't know, like, just treat yourself. Don't overwork yourself. You can get all the work you need to get done at this place, but don't overwork yourself to do it. Um, and then we got the night of water, falling in love, wedding proposals, need to bounce emotions, an invitation to a social event, which is clarified by the... Seven of fire. It's clarified by seven of fire. 
Judas had two, right? Yeah, this had two. Yeah, okay. So, the Knight of Water. Falling in love, wedding proposals, clarified by the Seven of Fire. Defending your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Um, six of Air, things are looking up at the end of the end of a difficult situation taking a trip yeah so basically okay so these friends that you swept under the rug is looking really good right now um y'all are going out y'all are going out um y'all are having fun um you still need to balance some emotions um, cause I see you from going, like, extreme upset, and, like, now you guys are going out, and I just see you, like, kind of covering that upset with drunken happiness, which isn't real happiness, and you think you're happy, you think you're having a blast, but really, um, you're not, <laughs> so you're still sad inside, um, and that's fine, you can still be sad inside, um, or you know what it is, um, I feel like you guys went out and you saw the other group of friends, um, and maybe you had that conversation about, like, you know, letting yourself feel your emotions and being valid, like, you are valid, just, your emotions are always valid, <laughs> um, no, you're not crazy for feeling a certain way, no, um, you're not a little bitch if you if something hurts your feelings and doesn't hurt the next person's feelings. Like, no. You, you're fine. You're fine how you are. I promise you. Um, if anything, any, anyone who judges you on how you're feeling, they're not fine. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're defending your beliefs to these those shitty friends. You're telling them really how you feel. And um, because you do that, um, it gets rid of that emotional weight that you were carrying and things are looking up it's the end of a difficult situation um maybe some of you are taking a trip as well i see palm trees in the back um at the same time with that same situation i feel like yeah you could be just drunk happy and you're not really um you're not really Standing your ground with yourself, you know, you're kind of like, yeah, this is fine. I feel like you're just getting fucked up all the time. <laughs> I feel like this person is just getting like really, really fucked up all the time to try to run away from their emotions. But you need to stand your ground and believe what you believe because it's okay to feel that way about yourself. And when you kind of come to the realization that like, I guess not fighting your emotions, choosing your battles wisely, not fighting your emotions, uh, learning when they're appropriate and when they're, um, maybe like, alright, maybe being too much, because you know, there's a limit, um, for reactions, like, I can't really think of one on top of my head, um, because I keep thinking about this stuff, but, uh, anyways, so, yeah, so, um, once that emotional weight is gone, uh, you let yourself, don't fight with yourself. If you're sad, really let yourself feel it. Don't drown yourself in alcohol. Like, I did that for a while, and it was not good for my mental ability, it was not good for my skin, it was not good for my third eye. I was actually, like, confused, like, all the time, and I didn't know what the hell was going on. Um... Like, please, please take care of yourself, because it's okay to have emotions. It's so okay. And if anything, if you need a, a healthy outlet for them, try to get creative. See what you can and can't do. Maybe get sporty. Take some frustration out. Get your feelings out. It's okay to feel. Please know that. So then we have um, the Page of Earth. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. So the person who has the job, right, 
the new job. Yeah, so like you're falling in love with the job, but you need to balance your emotions because um it's either you need to balance your emotions or you keep getting invited out and you're like, "No, I can't do this. I have too much work on my plate." Um and if it's balancing your emotions for your job, like you feel overwhelmed, um maybe even speak up and say like, "Hey, uh, what do I get? I get a feeling somebody's kind of ch taking advantage of you at your workplace. That's what I get. Somebody's taking advantage of you at your workplace almost. Um, but f for um, some, um, yeah, if, if they're taking advantage of you, um, defend your beliefs and decisions. Um, even like threaten to contact the labor board, something like that, like something, because. They, they can't get away with it because you're smirking like you have a trick up your sleeve like you're, you're gonna do something about this you're gonna stand your ground uh, you're gonna choose that fight wisely with them you'll know when to speak up um, yeah because uh, things are looking up on um, the end of a difficult situation so it's either you you told them like hey blah 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 or um yeah, it's either you told them, like, hey, this isn't fair, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know what? I see another scenario. I see somebody who did not make the decision to um, take that job yet. So this person didn't take that job yet. And um, they are at a current job, and they're just fucking hating it. Like, it's so horrible. Like I said, they're taking advantage and overworking them. I feel like the pay is shit. Like, that's just not fun. And, um, I see you saying something, and I see you actually, I think you're quitting and going with this other job idea that you had, because things are looking up, and I see you walking away from, from the shit, the bullshit. I see you walking away from it. I think that's beautiful. I'm cursing a little too much, I'm sorry. Um, so then, yeah. We have the page of earth, scholarly, dependable, patient, successful, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study, and um, it's clarified by the fortifier, contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So for the one person that I just mentioned, alright, so you've been contemplating by leaving this job or saying something, speaking up. You finally do. It's either they um, change everything up for you, give you a raise too, or all that, or you just leave. You leave and you go with your other uh, business idea that you had in mind. And um, yeah, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study that actually um, works out for you. You have contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. That's what I see for you. And then I also see for somebody... So the person who had all those shitty friends left those friends to go hang out with the ones that they swept under the rug. <laughs> um, yeah, I see you like dealing with your with your emotions and stuff, and you're gonna try to um, you're gonna try to deal with them a different way. You're gonna stop coping with alcohol and stuff like drugs, whatever you do. You're going to stop coping that way. It's going to save you money also, obviously. And um, you're going to get healthier. It's going to make you happier. And um, actually, it was almost like a cycle that you completed. I see a completed cycle about standing up for yourself, your emotions, standing up for your emotions. Um, I think that's for all of you. Y'all, this is all a big cycle for you guys. That's why it's difficult. Um, but these cycles are important, right? It's like a video game. A video game, you gotta build up that XP, you know, uh, so you can bite you, so you can get to the next level, and you can fight the bigger and better bosses with everything that you gained from your experience, right? From your journey. Um, and then for that one person. The one person, oh no. Right, 
yeah, for the one person that, um, that has the new friend, um, left the old shitty friends and has one friend, basically, um, you start to like them, maybe, or, um, just, y'all just mesh so well, it's like so much chemistry, so for some it could be non-platonic, but for others, um, it's like, y'all are just like this, like, I can't even do it right, it's like this, like, you know, y'all just fit, like, perfect puzzle piece. Um, and for that person, for that person, um, for that person, it's almost like, hmm. So, okay, so, the person with the one friend, this might be an earth sign maybe, but I s totally see this um, working out. I see um, a lot of good news. I see the girl in this picture. It could be a girl or a boy, though. Whatever that person is. Yeah, it's like, um... Y'all are surrounded by a lot of love. A lot of love. And, um... It's very safe to just... If you like this person, it's safe to tell them. Because you'll have a happy home life. And actually, it'll be a completion of a cycle as well speaking up about your emotions I think that's like a common theme in here um because um yeah speak up on it um also this person might somehow I want to say this person might somehow have a connection to a job for you or some type of opportunity is attached with this person um And I'm not sure if I talked about the person with the job, but the person with the job, um, it's totally going to work out for you. Because, um, yeah, it's going to work out because, uh, you got abundance all around you. Abundance, successful completion of a project. So if it was telling your boss to, you feel me, <laughs> if it's leaving your old job, uh, will work out, completion of a cycle, you had to do that, if it's, um, telling those shitty friends that you had, telling them how, the, how you really feel and everything, you know, you were supposed to do that too, and it's almost like making room for all, all the good God has to give you, like you're getting rid of that baggage. Because you have justice. You have justice. Uh, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Um, but it's clouded by um, the nine of air. Um, Self-fulfilling prophecies. Expecting the worst. Sleepless nights. You have so much doubt for some reason. And whether it's the relationship, the job, or the friendship. You have doubts. It's like for the friendships you think. Damn, what if these people... Yeah. <laughs> See, remember those other horses? It's like you're looking at your friend going, I hope I hope they they don't judge me on how I feel one day like those other friends. And you almost feel kind of, like, doubtful. Or it's like... Yeah, you're expecting the worst. But for real, like, please don't because... If we're going to relate it again, those horses are asleep spiritually, and you're awake. You're awake, and you're staring at them. You almost feel bad for them that they're still asleep. Um, and uh, for the person with the job, 
um, you have justice because um, it's pushing you to what you really want to do in life, your true path. And um, you're just kind of just doubting yourself or you're thinking it's not going to work out. I see sleepless nights like you are up stressing about this. You really don't have to. But you are. You're stressing about it. You're stressing. Am I going to get... Am I going to be able to support myself while I wait for, um, while I wait for my business to start up? Am I going to be able to support myself while I wait for this new job to call me back? Um, you're stressing out for the person with the relationship. Is this relationship going to work out the way I want it to? Or is it going to be like all my other ones? You have so much doubt. Yeah, two of air, unable or unwilling to make a decision, being at a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. You are clouding yourself up. <laughs> like, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, you keep doubting yourself, and you're unable... You're either unable or you're unwilling to make this decision. So it's that of, I know what I want to do and what I should do. I don't know um, if I really want to do it, though, put myself out there because I'm doubtful. Right? And we don't want you to be doubtful. So the suggestion... The suggestion for some is to take a rest or take a vacation, so four of air. Take a rest, take a vacation, allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide the answers, right? I don't know if you can hear that, it's my stomach, I'm hungry. Um, it's because I don't eat breakfast when I wake up and then I make, start making the videos. It's like, I made three yesterday and I, I know my stomach was growling. I like said that there too. So I'm sorry guys. I'll try to eat before. <laughs> but um yeah, being unable to make a decision, um, you're just so doubtful. Um so it's, it's the some for some the suggestion is to take a rest, to meditate, um, to really get the clarity on all sides that you need to make the decision. Your intuition will tell you, um, your intuition always knows. You always know. Um, sometimes we're not sure if it's our ego or our intuition. Um, I said in a video yesterday, I think it was Pisces. No, I think it was Aquarius. I said how to um, how to make contact with your angels to um, help clear your intuition. You know what I mean? Get the clarity you need. Um, so it's in that video if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, so for some though, for some, um, yeah, you're unable to make the decision. Um, for some, resting is not the answer though. For some, um, it's almost like you're dealing with procrastination. And that's also what's helping you be doubtful. For some, it's the night of earth. You need to buckle down and get things done. You need to honor your commitments because, um, says guardian angel, yes, a guardian angel is definitely around you. It's in the air. Um, it's all around this person. This thick air is their angels, letting them know that they're there, guiding them, divinely guiding them into the right path that they will inevitably always be going in the right path so they have to stop worrying because it's going to be okay right Ooh, sorry. and then for some yeah you're doubting about this relationship you want to take a break but it's not time to take a break you need to honor the commitment that you made to this person and you need to need to be there as a good partner take it to the next level I love how I started reading and that one friendship kind of turned into a romance thing. Like, I think that's kind of cool. Because, um, like, I had, I felt it with the lovers, but I don't like assuming just because lovers is there, like, oh, y'all is in love. Like, I don't like to assume that. So I like towards the end, it started to get more clear. 
And then we have the last two cards. The Nine of Fire. Don't give up. Protect in which you've created. created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Right? And it's clarified by the Ten of Earth. I knew it was going to be happy. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. So I see for the person who had those shitty friends, right? And has this new group of friends that they push under the rug, right? Um, after you kind of get over whatever you're dealing with, um, maybe you're speaking up to those other shitty friends or whatever, um, once you kind of get over that, you realize, justice, I don't want to be friends with them anyway. They're still asleep. I almost feel bad for them, right? Um... And you need to buckle down and you need to be good friends to the ones that you're around. I feel like that was for a specific person. I feel like you think because you stood up to your other friends, you feel like, oh, I don't need anybody. No, no, no. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not great, but friends are really important, especially if they're genuine friends who really care about you. It's not something that you can just... Uh, pick up and put under the rug anytime that you want it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just sweep it under the rug and then take it out of the rug every time you need a friend. Like, it doesn't work like that. Like, it does not work like that. And for that person, you need to realize what being a good friend really is. It's really, um, really is give and take, you know? It's not all give and it's not all take. Um... You may be feeling a little confused by that because you needed the healing and they were all trying to heal you and make you feel good. But, um, you know, maybe you want to take them out for your lunch or something. Maybe you want to call them, see how they're doing, how they're feeling. Um, that's kind of what I meant by that. And then for the relationship. Yeah. So don't give up on what you created with this person, what you started to build up. It has so much potential to be a happy, to have a happy family life. Not saying you have to marry this person, but the love is there. You know, it's safe to love this person. And um, for the person with the jobs, trying to figure out what jobs and everything, financial security, like it's gonna work out for you. Totally gonna work out for you. Um, oh, another message for that one person with all those friends, right? Um, it's important to find. The magic in the little things in life. So I guess that's really what I'm trying to say. Like appreciate the good friends that you have around you. Because people like that do not come around often. Um, yeah, every situation this is for. Just don't give up. Protect what you created so far. Whether it's... Um, whether it's your confidence that you built up finally, whether it's um, your career, whether it's friends, whether it's a relationship, like please don't give up on what you've put energy into, what you've created, um, because having the courage and believing in yourself really does give you the reward of love, financial security, and just um enjoying life finding magic in little things of life like please take the time to enjoy life because it's very beautiful and it's gonna work out for you like you are this nine of fire you are so fierce so strong and you have a lot of magic in you aries you're magical believe that all right so that was a pretty good spread, a lot of cards. <laughs> I will catch you guys for the mid-December to ending of December next month. Um, hopefully I'll have this more smoothed out. You know what I mean? This is still a work in progress. It's like my first YouTube page ever. So, uh, thanks for giving me your time and I'll catch you next time. Bye.